I thought I'd do a video where I talk a bit about camo for shit hits the fan and stuff um, because a lot of people don't really seem to understand the concept of camo and I've done a couple of videos on it but I thought it'd be worth going back over so essentially when I say camo I mean camouflage um, basically anything designed to make you less visible and the problem is with camo is when you see a lot of videos of people wearing it and I don't mean like actual soldiers, I mean like whenever you see people hunting or whatever or doing their drills or whatever or bugging out or whatever a lot of the time I notice in the videos they're really not wearing a good camo for what they're doing so I thought I'd talk a bit about you know appropriate camos for where you are um, so I've got four camos here um, on the left is East German Strictarn or rain pattern it's basically an olive drab type camo which is a browny green colour that then has lines across it that are like rain streaks and that's designed to be the disruptive element um, above it we have multi-terrain pattern or multi-cam uh, what the British Army is currently using on the right we have woodland DPM or 95 DPM which is what the British Army used to use and still uses for some troops and everything and at the bottom left we have some flectarn and that's probably going to be the hardest to see because it's actually against the camo background so if I just... it's there it's just a canteen cover um, so from, you can probably see from the video the, um, the flectons actually blending the best at the moment that's because it's essentially camo on camo but um, the point I'm trying to make is um, what you ought to do if you're you know planning on bugging out somewhere or whatever is go up there with a camera and take photos of the local environments then get back on a computer or whatever and start looking up camos and look for ones that look like they'd fit in the best because essentially the colour of camo well this is going to sound weird isn't the most important factor the most important factor is not making yourself obviously look human shaped but the problem is is that obviously um a lot of people are unnecessarily drawing attention to themselves because they're wearing camo that really does not fit in in the area and I'm saying I'm not having to go at a particular person but this is just a general thing when I watch a lot of videos so um, with camo you've almost got three choices I'm gonna call it um, and I'm afraid I've only got really two designs here but um, I'm gonna say you have your generic camos and this is gonna be or everywhere but nowhere camo let's call it that and that's going to be the strict tarn on the left now um, with the strict tarn uh, it's designed um, so it's not suited for a particular theatre it's suited so it could be used pretty much anywhere and it would look well anywhere um, and the theory with strict tarn is and a lot of olive drab type camos is that they're actually made with colours that the human eye doesn't register or doesn't register as a priority so there's some quite good photos if you just google Strictarn or East German camo or whatever where you see um, people wearing it and um, they're actually standing with people wearing other camouflages and you actually notice the Strictarn guy last or later on than some of the camos um, not because it's actually a better camo in a lot of ways but just because the eye doesn't necessarily pick up on it first so you disregard it when you first look over a picture of it it also works very well for urban environments because it's kind of got a dusty brown colour to it. So, strict tarn is ideal if you don't know exactly what sort of theatre you're going to be in or if, um, let's say, where you are, the environment changes a lot because obviously you can have some places that might have quite a bit of sand somewhere, then some trees, you know, a few buildings or whatever. So, strict tarn is ideal if you don't know necessarily what you're going to actually you know it's going to be in your theatre um, the multi-terrain pattern and the woodland DPM oh, the multi-terrain pattern is a bit closer to strict than everything else because it's designed to work in more theatres than a specialised one so then what I say we have the your sort of theatre based camos which aren't too specific and this is like woodland and flectile on the right these are designed so they're designed for a particular kind of sort of climate or whatever you'd have in certain countries and they're designed to look good in those um, so Flectarn's based sort of for German foliage 
Woodland DPM was designed for sort of European foliage. It was designed generally for the British Army to wear in case the Cold War kicked off, so it would work in most places in Europe. And quite a few other European countries have adapted it and changed the colours slightly, like the Dutch, Portuguese have a similar version. And then, I don't have any of these to show you I'm afraid, but then we are going to have what we call very specific camouflages. This would be like some of the hunting camos, I think Mossy Oaks is the name of one, where they're printed like almost photograph-like to look like trees or whatever. Now these are designed to um, look, you know, very much like something in a particular theatre, but the problem with one is, is as soon as you step out of exactly what you're meant to be wearing for one, obviously the uh, camo effect is lost and you become quite obvious. So, as I said, go to the area you're in, photograph it or whatever, and work out which is the best camo once you're taking some photographs, maybe try going up there with some camo and do some basic tests to see how hard you are to spot. Once you've found a camo, what you want to actually do is start learning how to conceal yourself properly. Because a camo, do camo doesn't make you invisible at all. The idea is camo just makes the colours you're wearing or whatever look similar to the environment and it also is designed to slightly disrupt your form. The idea is the human eye, when you look at somebody wearing camouflage, what the human eye sees first is first it sees movement, then it sees shape, and then it sees colour. So the idea is if you're looking, say, at just some woods and something moves, you're most likely to spot that straight away because the movement, the eye catches onto it. Then shape. If the thing's in a human silhouette, your eye will pick it up very quickly. Then the colour is like last, but obviously still important because if somebody's sort of in a bright jacket or whatever and they're standing like crouched over, you're still going to probably see them unless they've done a very good job concealing themselves behind sort of thick foliage or whatever. So um, find a camo that works, then what you need to do is work out how to better conceal yourself. And a good thing to actually do is there's some videos, and I'll post it in the description, where I saw which was very good actually, of a um, guy who makes his own camo, and he just gets like generic brown clothes, and then sticks his own leaves and things on it, or cuts his own you know, fabric to look like leaves. And even in some of those pictures, the guy's centre frame, the camera's focused entirely on him, and he's still really hard to see because um, of how well it works, because... The idea is once you've got, um, say, plants or something stuck to the camouflage, a scrim net over you, that actually changes the shape of you, makes you less, you know, human-like to the eye, you don't notice it straight away. Um, so sorry if I've rattled on for a bit too long, but um, with camouflages, ideally, check your environment, find a camo that actually suits well in the environment, then learn how to use the camo. Because the problem is there seems to be loads of people just assume wearing a generic camouflage will actually conceal them when it doesn't. Or, you know, doesn't make them much harder to spot. So, um, choose a camo. If you can't decide on a camo for your area, get something like Strictan or Multicam, which will actually hide you quite well in a lot of areas. And then, if you know it's a particular area, just go for something like Woodland DPM or Flectarn. Then customise your jacket a bit so it's a bit harder to see.